Hey everybody, it's Nick from Android Headlines and welcome to Google I.O. 2016 Day 1. So our first day was jam-packed with events from Google's annual conference, which, as you guessed it, is mainly focused towards developers. That doesn't mean that there weren't plenty of big announcements, though. And that includes things like yet another messaging app from Google, which actually launches as two separate apps named Allo and Duo. While these are certainly interesting apps and are founded in some great ideas, one wonders if we really need yet another chat app in the world. Android N was discussed, although it wasn't named, but that's going to be up to you to choose, as Google now has a contest open for helping the Android team name the latest flavor of Android. Google now gets a big upgrade in the form of Google Assistant, a new AI that works via Google's Knowledge Graph and Learning Engine, and essentially combines all of Google's many search features into one. Let's not forget VR either, where Google unveiled their plans for developing a new VR standard for OEMs to make products for. That's not all the info though, there's plenty of fun and crazy antics at I.O. that completely miss the keynote too. After all, there's only so much you can fit into two hours, and Google is one seriously massive company that likes to experiment in many different areas of tech. This year, we're at an outside venue at the Shoreline Amphitheater right here in Mountain View, California, the headquarters of Google itself. This lends itself to some larger demos that might not be possible at other venues I.O. has been hosted at in the past, and that means a lot more people are here as well. We got to check out Project Loon, for instance, Google's project to bring internet to the billions of people around the world that don't have any access to it at all. It's an incredible undertaking that we've covered before, but it's a completely different feeling to see it in person. Google's self-driving car made an appearance at I.O. too, and they've got one here for us to see and explore, although there were no demonstrations, sadly. Incredibly enough, though, we've seen quite a few driving around here in Mountain View, and it's a regular occurrence to see them on the street at this point here in California. Google's got plenty of other cool little developer experiments here too that are worth taking a look at. Everything from the new Firebase analytics software to help developers understand what crashes their apps on various phones out there, and also helps bring users back to apps where they've had a bad experience. We saw demonstrations on how to develop for kids, an all-important market that's growing as children become more and more exposed to technologies being developed specifically for their age and learning abilities. Old favorites like Google Maps and even Polaroid made an appearance here too, sharing new developments they've had in integration with other Google services as well. There's little limit to just how crazy Google can get, and it's nothing short of a blast being able to experience it all. That's just the end of day one at this point too. What will the next day or so show us? you have to stay tuned to find out. Be sure to check out the site for everything we experienced today in depth, and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Check us out on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and wherever you're at, we're at. Thanks for watching. Until next time.